I think he's the consummate record producer in that he, he can write the record, play the record, and record the record. Well, we go back as far as 1965, <laughs> when our timelines first crossed. I sort of bumped into him from time to time in Birmingham, because everybody knew each other back then. Yeah. <laughs> he had a group called the Idle Race, which is fantastic. And he turned into the best guitarist I'd seen by then. So uh, that's the early days. And then we really started working when ELO was formed. You made a fool of me, but then broken dreams have got to end. Hey, woman, you got the blues. I've always kept a very low profile and in that kind of thing. I've never liked the kind of the interview circuit and all that kind of stuff. You know, I've never, I've never wanted to do any of that. Um, I just try and let me songs talk for themselves, you know.
stone again It's gonna be a showdown yeah. I think you should do um, your, your beautiful environmental song from uh, Armchair Theater You do? I do Oh, blimey it's Acoustic, just because it's, not only is it topical It was beautiful and it closed the record Yeah And it's topical now And we could find a great use for that It's such a great environmental thing I've actually, there are a bunch of records around Like an Amnesty International And it could be really cool Okay I'll try. I'll have to learn it again, though. You know, it's not just a matter of just picking it up and playing it. Can I throw another thing in there while we're throwing in this? Cool. Here's a little song that I wrote about 20 years ago about the climate changing. Ah, oh, not one of them again. Here we go. One day the earth woke up and said, Boy, I feel perfect. Somebody's churning up the poison And it's getting in my head Sometimes I wish my gas would move away somewhere Cause I'm burning up all over I can't even breathe again Save me now, save me now Said a boy that's getting hot And remember all those trees I had Well now there ain't a lot and The ice kept slowly trickling Down to where the party's at And if everybody's going there Well that's the end of that Thank you. There might be one bomb note in there, but it's, it's live. That's great. It's fantastic. It was good, so if you ever get the chance to listen to Armchair Theatre, have a listen. For example, a song like Telephone Line, which is one of the big hits, you know, I mean, that's such a feeling of, of yearning. Look into the sky 
Thank you very much. My dad used to, he used to play around on the piano, you know, when the radio was on, which is what got me interested, because I thought, well, I'll do some of them one finger tunes. Everything looks so colourful today.
city yeah. Robin Hood and William Tell and I've been on Lancelot They don't envy me yeah. Sitting till the sun goes down In dreams the world keeps Jolly good show. Yeah, thanks, Jim. We're the same structure as before. You do the first one, we go, okay, let's go into the second one, and we wait for Steve. Yeah. Okay. I'll just keep a mouth shut. I'll mess up the third verse of the, uh, of the uh, fourth one. It's, 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 all, it's all yours. Thank you. gathering say goodbye to all your friends you're gonna be sorry for a while that's how it goes but then again who knows about the rain Add it there. Add it there. Uh, yeah. You can stuck that one on the end of that. I don't say suck it, I say stuck it. But I meant stick it. Mm. Okay? Yeah. Um, I don't blame it.
Can Close I stay? Up. Our cell phone's all off. On the piano. Two, three, four. started then, did you? No. Yeah. Nah, I don't know what the hell's going nah, on, but yeah, the nah. What well, sorry, Steve, once again, please. I never dreamed, for instance, that uh, Strange Magic was a single, and they just put it out in America, and it became a platinum single. Jolly good show, thank you. Well played, Richard. Just everybody wanted to beat, like the Beatles, you know. And there were loads of music shops and loads of great musicians. And it was just, that's what happened all over England in the 60s. Every town had its people trying to make it, and we were lucky enough to make it. A lot of people didn't. Just to repeat, uh, I don't believe uh, Jeff understands uh, how much emotion comes across from his singing. You know, it's a, it's a beautiful instrument he has, and he, of course, he knows how to work it better than anybody. If Jeff doesn't like something, I would caution anybody who wants to try and change his mind about it. Huh? Have you tried to change his mind on anything? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. <laughs> <laughs> when, when, how did you first meet Jeff? Good question, can't remember. In the 60s, in a blur. All night and day. 
Well, it's actually a, a, a strange story. Uh, Jeff and I served together in the uh, Merchant Marine, and uh, the ship we were on was torpedoed in the English Channel, and uh, I got to meet him. We spent a, got to know each other really well in the lifeboat. You know, you go to Jeff's house, he's got it really nailed. If you want to see what's happening here to that, he's got the button you press that'll flip-flop him and let you know. I'll, I'll reach, reach for it. Then you'll have a very difficult time editing. He's got the cup, he hasn't got the cup. <laughs> Benny Hill. <laughs> I'm getting to the cowbell, it better be. He'll use that, you know. Hurry up. Plugging in. I've tried a couple times to see if I can get him tweaked, you know. But uh, I can't. He, he's, he's pretty solid. Pretty solid guy. God bless. Signing up is the only way out of here. evening and uh, today I mean and um, thank you very much. So what should we do now?